He is known for his compositions for the theater, particularly his ballets and operas. He defied his father's wishes and became a successful composer, despite losing all his money in a failed opera house venture. His name is Adolf Charles Adam. In the world of music, one name stands out as a legend, Adolf Charles Adam, a French composer whose contributions have left an indelible mark on the field. Born into a family of musicians, Adam's talent was evident from a young age. Despite his father's wishes for him to pursue a different path, Adam defied the odds and followed his passion for music. Adam's most famous works include the ballets Giselle and Le Corsair, as well as the operas Le Postelin de Langemot and C.J. Thys Roy. These compositions showcased Adam's mastery of his craft and brought him great success, earning him a good living. However, a setback in 1848 saw him lose all his money in a failed attempt to open a new opera house in Paris. Determined and resilient, Adam bounced back from this setback and expanded his horizons. He ventured into journalism and teaching, eventually being appointed as a professor at the prestigious Paris Conservatoire, France's leading music academy. Alongside his older contemporary Daniel Aubert and his teacher Adrien Boyeldu, Adam is credited with creating the distinct French form of opera. Adolf Charles Adam's biography is a testament to his unwavering dedication to his passion for music. His compositions, such as Giselle and Le Corsair, continue to be celebrated for their beauty and artistry. Adam's story serves as an inspiration for aspiring musicians and reminds us of the profound impact one individual can have on the world of music. Adolf Adam, born on July 24, 1803 in Paris, showed early signs of musical talent. His father, Louis Adam, a renowned composer and professor at the Paris Conservatoire, tried to teach him music theory, but Adolphe preferred playing by ear. Recognizing his son's need for a structured education, Adolphe's mother sent him to the prestigious Hicks Institute, where he received a well-rounded education in both academics and music. Despite the opportunities at Hicks Institute, Adolphe remained disinterested in musical theory and academic subjects like Latin. The fall of the French Empire brought financial difficulties to the Adam family, forcing Adolphe to attend a less expensive school. Although the teachers were competent, Adolphe's indifference towards music theory persisted. At the age of 17, Adolphe enrolled at the Paris Conservatoire to pursue his passion for music. There, he studied the organ, counterpoint, and composition under esteemed teachers such as François Benoist, Anton Recha, and Adrien Boyeldu. Boyeldu, in particular, played a crucial role in shaping Adolphe's musical development, teaching him to compose melodies that were simple yet expressive. Adolphe's father had reservations about his son becoming a professional composer. Instead, he hoped Adolphe would pursue a more practical or academic career. However, Adolphe's talent could not be contained, and by the age of 20, he was already composing songs for vaudeville theaters and giving music lessons. His dedication and skill caught the attention of Duchamp, the timpanist and chorus master of the Theatre du Gymnase, who offered him a position in the orchestra. In 1824, Adolphe participated in the prestigious Prix de Rome competition at the Conservatoire, where he received an honorable mention. The following year, he won the second prize. However, it was his collaboration with Boyeldu on the opera La Dame Blanche that brought him significant recognition. His piano transcriptions of themes from the opera not only earned him money but also allowed him to embark on a tour of the Netherlands, Germany, and Switzerland. During this tour, Adolphe met the librettist Eugene Scribe, with whom he would later collaborate on several stage works. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.